Hi, this is Eskimo TV with our guest today, Dr. Michael Wald, Doctor of Nutrition and Director of Nutritional Services of Integrated Medicine of Mount Kisco PC. Today we're going to be discussing thyroid and fatigue. Uh, doctor, what is the thyroid gland and how does it control the body's energy use? Well, the thyroid gland is a very important gland that's located in our necks. And we actually have two glands, one on either side and connected with what's known as an isthmus in between. So obviously we all have a thyroid gland, and most of us are familiar with the thyroid in its relationship to weight gain. Uh, a low thyroid or hypofunctioning being associated with weight gain. The thyroid controls metabolic rate throughout the entire body. So there isn't a, a function or a cell in the body that escapes the influence of thyroid hormone. And in terms of energy and fatigue, when the thyroid gland is low, a person certainly would have a lower metabolic rate and could have a slowing of energy, not just perceived energy, but muscular weakness and just general sluggishness, sluggishness of any function of the body, including brain quickness and, and that sort of thing, uh, from the fatiguing uh, caused by the thyroid gland. On the other hand, a person could have what's known as an autoimmune thyroid condition, but that can also result in fatigue because of its stress upon the body in, in different ways. And what is fatigue? How does fatigue affect a person both physically and mentally? Well, as most of us know, and, and pretty much none of us have, have escaped fatigue at some point or another in our lives, but fatigue is a quality of life issue. Without energy to do work, one can't really enjoy their lives to the fullest. So. Fatigue would be defined as some nonspecific symptom that robs a person of energy to do what they want to do in their lives. There could be many, many different causes of fatigue and either a hyperfunctioning thyroid or a hypofunctioning thyroid could be the cause of fatigue. And what kind of thyroid disorder can become the cause of fatigue in a person? The most common thyroid uh, disorder that I see, and I think that uh, most hormone doctors or endocrinologists and interns tend to see, is what's called simple hypothyroid. Again, hypo referring to low thyroid function, which basically means that the thyroid gland is not producing enough thyroid hormone, which is known as T3 and T4 thyroid hormone. But I should say that even though many people have normal thyroid hormone levels on blood work, their bodies and cells may not be using their thyroid hormone normally, so they can still have fatigue and have a hypothyroid. There's other types of hypothyroid conditions, too, that could cause fatigue. Another one is called Hashimoto's thyroiditis, and that's an autoimmune form of thyroid disease where the immune system thinks that the thyroid gland or the enzymes that uh, produce our thyroid hormone are foreign substances, and the body attacks them. So one is autoimmune, that's Hashimoto's thyroiditis, and then there's simple low thyroid or hypothyroid that has nothing to do with a problem with the immune system. And what method of treatment can be useful for a person suffering from fatigue as a result of an endocrine disease? I'm not sure I heard the last part of what you said, as a result of... Uh, I'll assume you said autoimmune disease or Sorry. thyroid disease. So, yes. So, uh, treatment for Hashimoto's thyroiditis or the autoimmune form of low thyroid uh, could be actually nothing. Uh, many, many doctors kind of let it go. Um, but on the other hand, the traditional therapy would be thyroid hormone replacement. So there are synthetic forms of thyroid hormone, and then there are natural forms of thyroid hormone that us holistically oriented practitioners like myself uh, like to use. But before all of that, there is dietary changes and lifestyle changes, the, the investigation and removal of various toxins, all sorts of causes of Hashimoto's or simple low thyroid disease should be sought first. So the, the treatments would depend on the causes of the low thyroid in that person. So for example, if someone has mercury toxicity, that can cause hypothyroid, so the treatment would be remove the mercury. In another individual, it may be hypothyroid, and that person needs a variety of nutrients to help reset, and dietary changes to help reset their immune uh, condition, and then that would be their uh, treatment for their particular brand of low thyroid or hypothyroid condition.
This is Eskimo TV with our guest today, Dr. Michael Wolf, Doctor of Nutrition and Director of Nutritional Services and Integrated Medicine at Mount Kisco, BC. Thank you.